Aluminum is one of the most recycled and widely demanded metals globally. The energy used to recycle scrap aluminum is only about 5% of that needed to produce new aluminum from its ore, making it a cost-effective and profitable business. Moreover, aluminum is infinitely recyclable, meaning it can be recycled repeatedly without losing any quality. In our daily lives, we extensively use aluminum and aluminum alloy products such as beverage cans, doors, windows, electronics, construction templates, and automobiles. In recent years, China's demand for aluminum has been steadily increasing, and the price of aluminum has undergone several rounds of increases. Increasing the recycling of aluminum has become an urgent task. So, what is the process of recycling scrap aluminum? Let me introduce it to you. Step 1. Collection. Various aluminum products, including beverage cans, aluminum foil, and other aluminum scrap, are collected from manufacturing plants, households, automotive recycling facilities, recycling stations, construction sites, etc. Aluminum scrap may be mixed with scrap steel. Step 2. Shredding and crushing. The collected aluminum scrap is dismantled and shredded into smaller pieces using a double shaft shredder. And for baled aluminum, a crusher machine is also needed to further reduce the size of the shredded aluminum pieces. This is done to facilitate the removal of packaging coatings and to enhance subsequent melting efficiency. Step 3. Sorting. Using the magnetic sorting technology, mixed aluminum and metals are classified. As aluminum is non-magnetic, magnetic sorting can effectively separate it from other metals. Step 4. Paint removal. Paint removal in the recycling process improves the purity of the aluminum scrap. Paint coatings may contain harmful substances, and removing these organic materials can reduce environmental pollution. Additionally, it ensures that the recycled aluminum maintains better performance in subsequent production processes. Step 5. Melting. The shredded aluminum is sent into high-temperature, large-capacity furnaces and melted at temperatures exceeding 1700 degrees Celsius. Various waste byproducts are generated during the melting process, which can be removed using methods such as mechanical means, chlorine gas, nitrogen gas, etc. Additionally, adding metals like copper, zinc, magnesium, or silicon during the melting process can produce aluminum alloys. Step 6. Cooling and forming. The molten aluminum is poured out and formed into ingots, which are then transported to aluminum processing or manufacturing plants to create new products. Sunny Group provides front-end processing equipment for the scrap aluminum metal recycling industry, including shredding and crushing devices, magnetic separation, eddy current sorting, drum screening, and a pyrolysis furnace for paint removal and impurity removal. We can design solutions for your project requirements free of charge. If you have any questions about scrap aluminum metal recycling, feel free to contact us.